For my YouTube Next Up project, I taught you guys kung paano mag-multiply by 5. And today, we're going to flip things over. I'm going to show you a speed math technique on how you can divide any number by 5 really, really fast. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para wala kayong miss. Like I said in the intro, we're going to talk about a way for you to divide any number by 5 mentally. Hopefully, ma-practice nyo ng maigi para pagdating sa exam, lalo na sa exams na hindi kayo pinapayagan mag-calculator like um, civil service exam or other aptitude exams ay magamit nyo ito. In order for me to show you guys better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung lesson natin. Again, speed math technique to, dividing by 5. And I just want to reiterate, kung sanay na kayo mag-divide ng 5 sa um, traditional method, mabilis naman kayo mag-divide, then you can stick to that. I'm just giving you an alternative. Hopefully, makatulong sa inyo. Kung mapapabilis kayo nito, mas maganda. And again, it's something that I do. Um... Ano yung mga trade secrets to? Hopefully, makatulong sa inyo. Okay? Alright, let's start with the traditional method. I just want to show you first, no? I discussed this din dun sa video natin ng long division. So, if hindi nyo pa napapanood, just click on the i button din sa taas. Basically, start from the left side. So, sa 2, hindi kasha. Gawin natin 23. 23 divided by 5, that's 4 ang kasha. 4 times 5 is 20. Ima minus mo to. So, ang lalabas dyan is may remainder na tatlo. Meron pang katabi, so ibababa mo siya, magiging 34. 34 divided by 5, hindi kasha ng 7, pero kasha ang 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Ang minus mo ulit siya, babagsak ngayon yung 4 na remainder, at yung katabi na 2. So, 42 divided by 5 is 8. Tapos, meron kang 40, mamainus mo, this is 2. This is the trickier part, kasi hindi ka patapos, kasi may dalawa ka pa dyan. Okay. At dahil hindi na tayo nag-deal with remainders dahil advanced math na to, hindi ka naman na grade 2 or grade 3. Yung 2 ngayon, magiging hindi pa siya matatapos. Magkakaroon ka ngayon, magdadagdag ka ngayon ng decimal place dyan. Decimal na ngayon to uli. So, 2, 0, 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Sakto na yan. 4 times 5 is 20. Tapos, matatapos ka na doon. So, the answer is 468.4. 468.4. Okay? Ito yung traditional method. Now, again, it's fairly easy. Okay lang din naman. The problem is, minsan matagal. Lalo na kung hindi ka masyadong comfortable with your times tables. Now, ano yung alternative? Ano yung speed technique na sinasabi ko kanina? Let me show you. Again, remember, ang sagot natin is 468.4. Now, let's try to use yung speed technique that I was talking to you about. Again, same problem. Alam na natin yung sagot is 468.4. Point four. Pero paano mo siya may papalabas dito? Now again, instead of going from left to right and solving it like that, ang first step dito sa speed technique is actually to multiply the number by 2. So kung ano man tong number na to na gusto mong i-divide sa 5, ita times 2 mo lang siya. Now ano ang beauty ng times 2? Kasi any number, pwede mo i-mental na times 2. Lalo na kung comfortable ka with your digits, kung magaling ka sa chunking. Madali lang mag-times 2. You start from the right. So, paano mag times 2? You start from the right side. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. So, again, times 2 ko lang yung number na nasa loob. Now, familiar ba sa inyo? Familiar na, right? Kasi nakita na natin yan kanina. Pero hindi natatapos dun sa times 2. What you're going to do next is to divide it by 10. And yung divide by 10, hindi nyo kailangan problemahin yan. Kasi all you have to do is to move the decimal place one time. So, the answer is 468.4. And it's the same as yung answer natin kanina. Now, in my opinion, this is actually faster. And that has helped me with a lot of the exams that I took before. Now, another thing is, kasi bakit siya kakatulong? Kasi kung itatimes, kung i-divide ko siya sa 50, all I need to do is to add another movement dito. The answer would be, kung 2, 3, 4, 2 divided by 50, the answer would be 46.84. 500, galaw mo lang din isa, 4.684. So again, this will kind of 
help you not just with the actual question na pag divided by 5 pero sa estimation din makatulong din siya sa inyo now how does it work okay let's take an easy number for example 20 okay now pag ang 20 divided by 5 alam naman natin is 4 okay alam natin yan i'm just proving the concept okay so hindi ko naman Kasi yung iba minsan nagko-comment, kinokomplik ako daw yung mga bagay na simple lang, simple lang naman. Pero again, this is me trying to give you alternatives. Now, bakit 20 lang yung nilagyan natin yung number? Just so I can show you kung saan nanggaling yung times 2 divided by 5. Ang idea nun is, ang 20 kasi, divided by 5, it's the same. Pareho lang yan sa 20 times 1 over 5. Okay. Kasi basically, ang 20 divided by 5 is 20 over 5. And ito, right here, pareho lang yan. That would be 20 times 1 across 20 over 5. Pareho lang. Okay? And you can basically do this with a lot of other numbers. And I'll show you more of these speed techniques as we go along. So do, again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet para hindi nyo mamiss. Uh, it's sad kasi ngayon may mga... Uh, minsan nagkakaroon problema sa algorithm ng YouTube kaya please hit the bell no notification para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga susunod masabihan kayo kapag mayroong bagong video kasi baka mamiss ninyo no? um, kasi like I said itong concept na to works for a lot of other numbers which I'm going to talk about pero dito yun yung concept niya kasi okay now bakit times 2 divided by 10 kasi I figured out nga medyo komplikado yung mag divide by 5 kung malalaking numbers pero Ang 1, 1 over 5 kasi, or 1 fifth, this right here, pareho lang yan sa 2 over 10. Okay? Sa so 2, 2 over 10. And it's basically like saying 20 times 2 over 10. Okay? Pareho lang yan sa dito. Pareho lang yan dito. Ang ginawa lang natin is, sinolve lang natin siya like that. So, 20 times 2, and then kung ano man yun, i-divide mo ngayon sa... Then, doon nang galing yung technique that instead of dividing by 5, what you could do would be 2 times 2 and then divide by 10. So hopefully, again, kung ano mas mabilis sa inyo, you can use that sa actual exam. Now, mas maganda if you can practice by yourself. So this is your turn. I'm going to give you a minute. Hopefully, matapos ninyo bago matapos yung min one minute na yun. Again, you can try yung speed technique muna. See if it works for you. If hindi ma madaling makuha, practice lang ng practice. You can rewatch the video if, find if you find it complicated. Okay? Your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay? So again, this is a number right here that you can divide. You can move ng paganon, di ba? Yung kung gusto mo yung traditional method. Or, di ba sabi nga natin ang technique, you can just multiply it by 2. Okay? If I multiply it by 2, actually kahit mentally you can do it. Pero if you want to do it long cut, okay lang din. So 6 times 2 is 12. Carry ka ng isa dyan. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. This is going to give you 8. This is going to give you 6. Okay? So, na times 2 ko na. Next, i-divide ko sa 10. Or basically, igagalaw ko yung decimal place ng isang beses. The answer is 685.2. And then, you have that. Again, kung gusto ninyo ilong ang pwede rin naman. Ganyan lang yan. 630. This is 4. Bababa natin yung 2. 42 divided by 5 is 8. Tama pa rin tayo, right? Tapos ito, 40. Bababa natin yung 2. Pababa natin ngayon yung 6. 26 divided by 5 is 5. 
Again, pareho pa rin tayo. Tapos, 5 times 5 is 25. May remainder ka na 1. Maglalagay ka ng decimal dito. Lalagdag ka na 0 doon. This will be 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, again, it's the same answer. Sa akin lang, because I am faster sa multiplication, at madali ko i-mental math yung times 2, I, pr I prefer this method kasi mas, mas madali siya. Okay? Alright, hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video to your friends and don't exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And kung meron kayong mga malilit na anak or mga pamangkin or anyone na medyo bata-bata pa, I hope you teach this to them kasi makakatulong talaga sa kanila in the long run. Thank you guys. And again, if you're not subscribed, hit the, hit the bell icon then after you hit subscribe para malaman ninyo as soon as a new video posts. And if you want to reach out to me directly, maybe get the reviewers that I made or join the online review program or the library events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. If you have any requests, you can go to the comment section sa baba. Type nyo lang kung ano yung mga questions ninyo or yung mga topics na gusto nyo pag-usapan natin next time. And uh, that's it, I guess. Never stop learning, as you always say. Aja, aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video, and bye for now.